American Dirt Fiction Author, Janine Cummins Book Description The unforgettable story of a mother and son fleeing a drug cartel to cross the U.S.-Mexico border. Reviewer number 1, May Johns. Incredible book. This book, unfortunately, will probably not be read by the people who need to read it, the people who can't see beyond their narrow little sliver of privileged life. Which is a tragedy. Hopefully the people who will read it can overcome the horror and make this world better. Reviewer number 2, Linda Galella. A stunning discourse on humanity, life and what it really means to love others as you love yourself. American Dirt is a book that will change thinking. If you can read this story and not be moved, not be changed, I seriously wonder if you're alive, it's that affecting. The author has some skin in this game through her grandmother's immigration experiences. She's done exhaustive research and produced a remarkable volume. The story is raw, violent, emotional and full of passion. The characters live and breathe from the very first moment they appear on the page. The reader will step inside the story and it will be near impossible to put the book down. The action is relentless and every moment of the 50-plus days traveled by the family is felt by the reader, the hunger, thirst, fear, danger, sweat, blisters, cold, anticipation, sorrow. This is a once-in-a-decade kind of book. Don't miss it. Reviewer number 3, Prizrob. You cannot cry, not yet. Bullets flew all around them, ricocheting off the walls and the furniture. And, then it stopped, all was quiet, no noise at all. Lydia Quixano Perez and her son, Luca, are all alone, the gunman gone. The police come, but once they know the story, they are unable to help. This is the beginning. Lydia owns a bookstore in Acapulco, and her husband, Sebastian, is an investigative journalist, writing about the narcotics cartel that has left their city and surrounding areas powerless. Lydia and Luca grab what they can, and walk to the bus station. They are without a home, anyone to protect them, little food and water and very little money. This is their story, one day you have everything, and the next, it is all gone, and you start looking for a new life. Hiding out from the cartel and others who pray. Lydia and Luca are the new migrants. We all know about the children in cages in the U.S., their parents in other detention centers or sent back to their countries of origin. We think of them as a group, a large group of people looking for a new life. Or we think of them as criminals trying to get what we have. The author, Janine Cummins, is giving us a look at one small family, Lydia and Luca, and their trek to find a better place, a life of safety, food and water, a job, education, the life of a migrant. This is often not a pretty story, it is realistic, and it left me wondering again, what kind of country we are. A book and story to ponder and to worry about. I felt great anxiety for these people in this most stressful time in our country. What are the answers? Recommended. Reviewer number 4, Lead. Hooked after reading the first page, excellent novel despite criticism. I don't care what all the purest Latino critics are saying about American Dirt, it's an excellent read and not meant to be non-fiction, nor do I believe it was intended to be historical fiction. I say to the critics if you want the world to hear your story then write a novel as well as Janine Cummins wrote hers. I could name many great novels imperfectly portraying the real world that's what a good novel does. So please yes, let us know what you think and how you think this book of fiction differs from the real world but until you write your own great read, be nice. I for one am thoroughly enjoying this one. Reviewer number 5, Reader Reader Reader. A book that has changed me forever. From the first sentence of this book, I was hooked. It is a book that you simply cannot put down. The narrative is propulsive, beautifully written, and inspires bone-chilling suspense and eye-opening commentary both. While Lydia and Luca are characters that will stay with me forever, I can't stop thinking about the secondary characters of Rebecca and Soledad from Central America. And Beto, Marisol, Lorenzo. 
I'm getting teary even typing their names. I've never read a book that I loved as much as this one. I will be buying this book for every birthday present this year. I want everyone I know to read it so that I have more people to discuss it with. This book is a triumph, and it deserves to win every major award. I think it will win everything. Fingers crossed. Reviewer number 6, Stacy D. I couldn't put it down. I bought this book on Tuesday and finished it within a day. It was so engaging, starting from the first page. The characters are likable and the story moves quickly with a lot of suspense. It's an entertaining work of fiction and I've been enthusiastically recommending it my friends and family, not to advance any political agenda, but because it is a very good read. That said, it has received a lot of recent media coverage debating whether the author should be permitted to write about the immigrant experience without having lived it herself. My opinion is that imagining settings, characters, and experiences outside of their own is what great fiction writers do, and that's what makes it fiction rather than memoir. I found the depiction of the experience to be respectful and empathetic and a really great read that will swallow up your time until you finish it. Reviewer number 7, McBadkey. Fabulous. Fabulous read. Could not put it down. Many people write detective fiction when they themselves have never been employed as a detective, or stories regarding the Catholic faith when they themselves are not Catholic, or WW2 stories when they were born well after D-Day, etc. The injustice that surrounds which authors and stories are picked up by publishers should not be laid at the foot of Ms. Cummins. She has written an unput-downable story, although heartbreaking, and she should be commended for her talents. Reviewer number 8, Elizabeth. Great read to start the new year. I was a little hesitant to buy this book after reading a few very harsh reviews, but I'm so glad I did. I couldn't put it down and finished it 3.5 hours. First, it is a fictional story, not a true life account of woman's journey to the border. No, the author cannot tell a true story of this kind or truly depict the horrific realities of cartels and migrants from Mexico and Central America not having lived through or experiencing it, just as most authors who write WW2 fiction cannot tell true stories not having lived through it. It's fiction for a reason. Bravo to the author for writing a book that shines some light on it. That being said, it's a great read, filled with lots of emotion, and hooks you in right from the beginning. Loved this book. Reviewer number 9, Thomas Burns. A great and important work of fiction. American Dirt is one of the best novels I have read. It's realistic, poignant, beautifully written and well-researched. It's the story of an affluent Mexican woman from Acapulco who is driven from he home when her family is massacred by a drug cartel, because her husband, a journalist, wrote a newspaper article about a local drug lord. The woman, Lydia, and her eight-year-old son Luca find themselves a part of the great horde of migrants making their way to the United States in search of a better life. Along the way, they meet many memorable characters, most good, some evil. Most importantly, I gained a deep and lasting appreciation of the migrant experience. American Dirt has been pilloried by some in the media who think that the author did not have the qualifications to write it, i.e., she is not Mexican, not a migrant, and did not live the experience herself. This is extremely wrong-headed. Ms. Cummins has done a great service for Mexican, Central American and South American migrants by popularizing their tragic experiences, much as John Steinbeck did for American tenant farmers during the Dust Bowl in Grapes of Wrath, and Herman Wouk for victims of the Holocaust in Winds of War. One does not have to be a member of an ethnic group to empathize with its members or accurately recount their experiences basic humanity and a talent for writing and research is all that's required. The book has also been criticized for fictionalizing a great tragedy of our times, but the novelist Ayn Rand knew that popular fiction is often a much more effective means of promoting social change than mere journalism is. 
The author has been accused of stereotyping Mexicans, but all I found here were well-drawn, complex characters. I verified her research continuously as I read the book, and I found no inaccuracies, from the destruction of the beautiful city of Acapulco by the cartels, the pestilence of gangs and warlords haunting the Mexican highways, or the horrors of riding La Bastilla, the freight trains that carry the migrants on top of them, between borders. I was particularly heartened by Cummins' descriptions of the services provided for migrants by ordinary Mexicans. Of course, some may say that my opinion is invalid, because I am not Mexican. But I say kudos to Ms. Cummins for her bravery, which is already resulting in unjust repudiation. No book is perfect, including this one. But I say kudos to Ms. Cummins for her bravery, which is already resulting in unjust repudiation. The story did lag in places due to over-description. And perhaps Ms. Cummins should have chosen a more plebeian tragedy that caused her protagonist to be uprooted, although the murder of journalists, law enforcement and government official by cartels is rampant in Mexico. But these are minor quibbles about a very great and important book. Reviewer number 10, D.A. Wow. 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 This book educated me, humbled me and punched me in the gut all at once. Thank you to the author for all your research and telling the truth that not many really even deign to pretend to know about. I'm first generation Latinx, and still had no idea about these horrors our fellow man, woman endures. And the writing is stunning and makes one feel they are right there with the characters feeling their pain, their fear, their thirst, their anguish, dot and yet I couldn't help thinking and praying, could I ever be that strong? I really don't know. I plead to anyone reading this to pick up this book ASAP and make your loved ones read it. People need to know. About the author. Janine Cummins is the author of four books, the best-selling memoir A Rip in Heaven, and the novels The Outside Boy, The Crooked Branch, and American Dirt. She lives in New York with her husband and two children. Product details. File size, 4,878 kilobytes. Print length, 387 pages. Publisher, Flatiron Books, January 21, 2020. Publication date, January 21, 2020. Sold by, Amazon.com Services LLC. Language, English. ASIN, B07QQLCZY1. Text to speech, enabled. X ray, enabled. Word wise, enabled. Lending, not enabled. Screen reader, supported. Enhanced typesetting, enabled. Books customer reviews on Amazon.com. Read the description below this video to get the link order to buy this book.